Hello guys, this is uh, Ed back at the shop, and I'm doing a, um, I'm checking a camshaft for uh, Just Mopar Joe, and we're checking this, we don't know what this cam is, it's a mystery cam, we've uh, checked the uh, the lobes, and it, you know, it's got a little wear, but um, for the most part, um, we're uh, all within, in like two thousandths on lift. So if you, we've got a uh, 0.349 lobe lift and a 0.351. So that works out to 0.5235 at 1.5 or 0.5265 um, at uh, 1.5. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess, uh, you know, who knows what this was when it was brand new. But I'm going to guess and say probably around 525 lift. It's a uh, 279850 is the part number. Um, I don't know um, what cam it is. I spent a lot of time trying to deduce and figure out what it is. Um, we've got about um, six and a half thousandths bend in, in the middle. And... Um, Number four is out also. And slide down there. And number two is out also. Let's see. Get it on the... Just right at five thousandths. Uh, yeah, maybe five and a half thousandths. Uh, let's see if we can straighten this and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. That's about one thousandths. <clears throat> See if I can zoom in on this a little better. Sorry about taking this too long. Okay. We've got about about three and a half thousandths. Let's see if what we can do here. Okay, guys. Got a little bit of it out. Right at two. Okay, guys. Number four journal. We're about one thousandths. Okay. So let's move it up and we'll check. Uh,
And I've got it in B blocks because someone's going to say something. I've got it in a B blocks and I have a ball bearing in the center in the end. So then that way, you know, because these cams are just like chopped off on the end. So they're sometimes they're not perpendicular to the access. So anyway, so I do have a ball bearing in there. So, you know, it's turning off of a center. So uh, anyways. So I haven't checked this. Let's see if it moved. Yep, it moved. Okay. Well, about two and a half thousand, so. Okay. We got maybe one and a quarter, one and a half. And I'll just, I'll just, just show you here. That's, I'm just pushing down on my, with that with a finger. Just taking my index finger. And a lot of times, uh, some of the new cams I get, they're not, <laughs> they're not much better than that. Okay. Wow. That's pretty good. I mean, that's not even a half thousandths. Let's come up here and check. Okay. About one and a half. May have to straighten a little bit right here. Let's try it. Okay. There you go. Less than a half thousandths. Let's go back and check our middle again. Hopefully it helped it out. One thousandths. Let's check our uh, a little bit of a challenge, but not too bad. Just have to be patient. About one thousandths. I don't know if you can see that. Looks good. 
Well, there you go, Don. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, I can't tell if it's a hydraulic or a solid. I'm uh, that I can't be sure, but uh, you have a straight cam now. That's awesome. Very tickled with that. Yeah, you just barely see that needle move. Okay, guys, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, guys, you can see we got a little rust and corrosion on the cam, on the uh, journals. I can't do nothing about the lobes, but uh, we're going to give the uh, crank a, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to give the cam a crank polish. <laughs> polish on the journals. I'm going to use the crankshaft polisher. So. Let's see if I can do it with this belt I have on here. Okay, got a little rust stain, but that'll be okay. It'll just hold some oil. Had a few scuffs where it looked like some trash went through the cam bearing. That's all smoothed out, polished out. Looks good, guys. Thanks again for watching.